All right, welcome back to Raw Politics. From Germany to Poland and even back in Brussels, there are signs that identity politics will play a bigger than ever role in the European Parliament elections coming in May. Now let's take a look at tonight's ballot buzz. It was last week. Francis Emmanuel Macron set out his grand vision for Europe. Now not to be outdone, Angela Merkel's anointed successor, Angret Kramp Karenbauer, is setting out her roadmap for the bloc. And with migration firmly on the agenda in Germany, she's joined Emmanuel Macron's call for secure external borders, adding that Europe needs a border police force. Meanwhile, the man bidding to be the next commission president, EPP lead candidate Manfred Weber, has announced that half of his team of commissioners would be women. Taking to Twitter, he praised women's flair for compromise. And in Poland, a fight over gay rights. After the mayor of Warsaw signed a declaration to protect LGBT plus rights, including the introduction of sex and tolerance education into the city's schools. The ruling Law and Justice Party came out fighting this weekend. Speaking to party faithful, leader Jaroslav Kaczynski branded his rival's agenda an attack on children. From migration to gender and gay rights, it seems identity politics is firmly on the agenda for this year's European Parliament elections. And joining me to discuss, among other things, identity politics uh, as part of our election coverage here on Raw Politics, we have Elmer Brock. He is a German MEP from the European People's Party, as well as Linnea Engstrom. She's a Swedish MEP from the Greens EFA Group. All right. Uh, we were talking about identity politics uh, there. It's, one could argue that it's always been a part of politics. You know, people relate to something that they identify with. But why does it seem much more important in these elections, the upcoming European parliamentary elections, and the stakes seem higher. Elmer. Look, I think identity is always a question of politics. I do not, I'm not sure that this is more important than in other elections. It's always the identity uh, which people have to recognize, whether politicians meet their identity. That is always a secret of communication between politicians and, uh, and uh, citizens. You don't find populists are, use, are jumping on issues that magnify identity politics in order to get votes? To be uh, uh, right-wing against migrants, there you go. Uh, against uh, neighbors. Is that identity policy? It is the opposite of identity. Mm. The That's opposite of identity, I think. Mm. And uh, therefore, I believe identity is that uh, a nation, a region, groups of uh, ethnic people have their own identity, which in the plural society have all their rights to live and have the possibilities to say what they want and they agree mm. on that what uh, they want and this I think is the question and the definition of identity should not be given by the right wing people. Because even you know we even have they destroy identity. Yeah. What do you think about that? Because no, I think that's very very adequately put. I mean, mm. this is really about empathy, about human rights. I don't know why we lack empathy in the union today. I I get horrified when I see in the middle of Europe Polish on that level, on the highest political level, people are questioning LGBT rights. I mean, these are our common values. These are the values that we built this union on. So I don't know why we lack empathy in this in this. But sense. it is being used as 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 a basis for drawing battle lines. In you know, the we don't have rhetoric. to like we don't have to like each other's religion, or I don't have to like your lifestyle or your sexuality. But I have to defend every human being being equal rights. I mean, that's what it's really about. And that's what our, we built our union on. And, and because of very, very good reasons, because of people challenging every single human value, uh, equal value. So I think it's, I, I, I'm surprised and I, I think we have to fight against it fiercely. Mm. We should not allow the right wing people to identify what identity is. Exactly. It's not their job. Exactly. It's how, the job of everyone. How do, you stop, how do you stop people from identifying with identity politics, as you say? They don't accept that. They have no right to do so. Everyone has a right to look for his identity. But please do not leave the definition of identity to the right-wing people. But I, I think they're okay. using, I think they're using like contempt and sort of um, fear-mongering to build this kind of 
stereotyping. I mean, let's face it, we are human beings. We have a tendency of stereotyping the other. But, but that's just a very simple way of... I think we have to challenge it with facts, always with facts, what and about, by standing with our human rights, and what, always saying that this is, the, this is our union, there is no place for racism, there is no right. place for, for uh, challenging LGBT rights or, or women's rights or, or all of yeah, that. Yeah, on, on women's rights, like Manfred Weber, he was now talking about gender parity and, 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 and highlighting this issue. Is that a strategy, like to get, to get votes or why? Why would he be doing that? Look, uh, we have changed in our society and everyone has to adapt to, but everyone has also the right to have different opinions on that. Mm. Uh, I think that is not uh, uh, these rights are going you know, same, uh, different, uh, in the same direction. Mm. Might, because of uh, 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 religious reasons, I might have another opinion than others to that yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But it does not mean on one side that you live after such standards or what you should allow in a plural society. There are two different laws. I sure. do not like, for example, homosexual marriages as a Catholic. But I would like to allow it in every state because there is no right in the modern state to discriminate. Exactly. That is my own opinion. I have to divide it but, between that but and with the gender parity, I think he, at, I, I saw that pledge that he yeah, did on gender parity, gender, yeah. and I think that's very good. I think women's vote will, will make a huge difference in this election, and just because of right-wing Is he appealing movement, to his base? I hope he does. I hope we have more women voting in the European election because usually the voter turnout is quite low in most right. member states. So if we have a higher percentage of women going to the polls, that might make a severe difference. And there's difference. something, and one other thing I wanted to touch, uh, which we mentioned in that ballot buzz, it's um, AKK in Germany. She's trying to position herself, it seems, to create her own identity and create her own um, image separate from Angela Merkel and, <laughs> or Emmanuel Macron. Is she doing, is she doing a good job? Yeah, she does, but she has a b other background. She's a more to southern, western German Catholic person, and Angela Merkel is the eastern, northern German Protestant. Ah, yeah, okay. This is totally different. Uh, from what is the difference? The so, what, what, would, what can we pe expect from someone like AKK? AKK is classic Christian democratic uh, policy in, in Germany, like Helmut Kohl. Hmm. That's another story. And that, it's a nice thing to have this differentiation. I love it that we have this differentiation in our party. And uh, that is, I think, it's a very good development. But in the principles, we agree to uh, Right. In all the principles, Mrs. Merkel and Mrs. Kamp Karrenbauer yeah. agree uh, each other. And that is a good thing. But if there's a differentiation, it's a third question. It's a, f a fine way to do so. And actually, Ms. Ms. Uh, uh, Kamp Karrenbauer, she was also trying to, 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 to push back against the Macron. Agree, but push back a little bit as well. So that what will happen to true. the German? I discussed <laughs> it with her also today. Look, when Mr. Macron made the proposals, sure. When someone makes a proposal, you have not to agree from the next day on oh, every sure. detail That's of it. Clear. But <laughs> if you read it uh, well in both directions, it goes in the same direction. Mm. But there's a differentiation, but she makes some extra proposals. He has not yet agreed to. That is discussion.